Hey everyone. Huh? I know I got this queen. How do I say, hey everyone, welcome to my channel today, we're gonna learn like that? Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Frank and welcome to my channel called Half of Frank. So on today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you five ways to better have self-care. So self-care is very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach you five ways to just have better self-care. We're gonna go ahead and start with step one. Step one is gonna be hygiene. So when it comes to hygiene, it's really important to go ahead and take care of yourself and look the very best that you can for yourself. You could tell if some people don't have, you know, good hygiene or don't have a lot of self-love because of how they present themselves. You look musty. Other good things about hygiene is, you know, you want to make sure you smell good. You know, you're brushing your teeth, you're wearing deodorant, you know, just simple things. Those simple things go a long way. I don't think somebody wants to be next to somebody that doesn't, you know, practice those things. You look most. So just make sure you are taking care of yourself. It does start with, you know, appearances. Unfortunately, people do judge you by the way you look, smell or are. So just make sure that you do it for yourself at the end of the day and you have that good, you know. Yeah, I just remember when I didn't have a lot of self-love or maybe I was just lazy and I wasn't really brushing my teeth um, and then, you know, wearing deodorant. So, but somehow it still was, you know, the magnet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start having hygiene, better hygiene. That's where it starts. Step two is expression. So it's a beautiful thing to go ahead and, and express yourself. For me, I love art. The way I express myself is through painting. Um, this one isn't finished, so don't. I, I express myself through dance. Y'all heard? I love just having expression and making sure that at the end of the day, I need to go back to the things that I love. So for me, it would be, you know, painting, it would be photography, it would be film, it would be anything to do where I'm creating something. And it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, art, it could be expression with the gym, expression with, um... Yeah, just make sure you are expressing yourself in the best way you can and just make sure it is a healthy way, so. Step three would be talking to others. My favorite thing to do is probably talk to people. I love talking to people. I love having conversations about things. And with me and my best friends and close friends, we have the funniest conversations, the most serious conversations. And for me, those are the best memories I have. Just having those really raw, authentic conversations with these people. Sometimes it could be something like, So, ¿cómo, cómo está tu día? ¿Cómo está? Um, mi día está bien. ¿Y, y el tuyo? ¿Cómo está? Oh, está bien. Sí, me gusta la biblioteca. That's good. Okay. Well, que tengas un buen día y saludos. Okay. Que tengas un buen día. Yeah, those are the type of conversations you want to have with your friends. And just, like I said, make sure you are finding a good group of friends to, you know, have those conversations with. So, number four, isolation. I love being alone. So, I love going out alone. I love walking alone. I like, well, we all walk alone. So <laughs> I just like being alone. And I find it really beautiful to have isolation and have some time for yourself. And when it comes to self-care, the most important thing is to really have some time to get to know yourself, to get to know your strengths, your weaknesses, what you like, what you don't like. And for me, spending a lot of time alone really helped me understand myself. And it really starts with you. Having a good foundation of understanding yourself really brings you ahead of the game. Um, nobody is really going to get to know you or nobody will get to know you if you don't know yourself. What I say about being alone, Jasmine? Yeah, it's okay to be alone. Oh, yeah. And most importantly, it's okay to be alone. You don't have to find somebody else to, you know, feel complete. You don't have to, you know, feed off of other people. You really do have to start with yourself. Step five would be treating yourself. We do forget to go ahead and then reward ourselves for, you know, accomplishments that we have done. And for me, I've always struggled with trying to reward myself. I've done a lot of good things and then I tell myself, what's next? 
but I should just step back and reward myself with dinner, with a shirt or something. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a physical thing. It could be an activity. And when it comes to treating yourself, it doesn't have to be expensive. It could be just going to the 99 cent store, going to Marshall's, going somewhere. And I mean, just buying yourself something small. Or like I said, having an activity, going to the dollar movies, going to the movies, going somewhere to really just make sure you have this reward. I mean, you worked so hard. Why not give yourself this break, you know, or this time to just really enjoy it? So that's it, you guys. That's the video. Remember, go ahead and then like and subscribe. New videos and content will be coming up soon. I thought I was going to do something else, but I forgot. Oh.